there folks, I'm Stefan Jaeger for Only Boss Fights and we are back COVID free. Today we are going to explore every optional boss in Lozman in Remnant 2 including how to find them and the reward you'll receive for taking them down. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Our first optional boss is Bargus the Vile who can be found in the Harvester's Reach area. To locate him, you'll need to explore the sewers and the outcropping tunnels. He hides beneath one of the bone piles, and you won't know which one until he appears. Be prepared for a fight either way as sometimes a normal manticore may be in his place. Bargust is quite the bullet sponge, so ensure you have plenty of health and aim for the head. Watch out for slug-like creatures in the area and evade quickly to avoid being swarmed by him and these creatures. Once defeated, you'll learn the Arcane Strike trait. Lithly, Mutator and Dryas Anklet. The Arcane Strike trait increases mod power generation from melee damage, a valuable trait for those relying on their melee weapons. The Lithly Mutator Boosts weapons reload speed by 4% for each enemy killed between reloads lasting 7 seconds and stacking up to 5 times. At level 10 it also provides a 20% increase in range damage when reloading at max stacks. Lastly, Dryer's Anklet can be given to the man at the area's entrance, granting you the Ring of Grace which regenerates 10% of maximum health over 10 seconds when taking enemy damage. Alternatively, you can place it in the Nightweaver's web in the Tormented Asylum to obtain the Ring of Retribution, increasing reload speed and all outgoing damage by 10% upon receiving incoming enemy damage. The Executioner awaits in a secret passage located in either the Great Hall, Shatter Gallery or Gilded Chambers. Look for numerous ashen corpses facing the statue and a painting on the floor. Smash the painting to access the secret passage. Drop down from a ledge to face the executioner. This enemy hits hard and the fight becomes more challenging due to the water you're in and the tight corridors. Aim for his weak spot, the unarmored areas such as his arms and legs. Upon defeating the executioner, you'll receive the steadfast mutator. This melee mutator enables that charged melee attacks cannot be interrupted and provides 10% damage reduction from all sources. The gorge boss is hidden in a secret area that appears in either the butcher's quarter or cotton's clin. Look for an area with two dead ashen at the entrance, proceed until you reach a locked door and pull a nearby switch to trigger the fire. Gorge will appear on a raised level and jump down to attack. Beware of his powerful attacks in a confined space along with additional enemies joining the battle. His weak spots are on the side of his body. Defeating Gorge awards the Twisted Wounds Mutator, perfect for bleed builds. It boasts range damage to bleeding targets by 10%. At level 10, the mutator applies bleeding to the weapon's range weak spot and range critical hits, dealing 100 bleed damage over 10 seconds. The Fey Council optional boss battle triggers when the council asks you to investigate which one of them is the traitor, and you accuse any of them being the traitor with no proof. It's not a challenging fight, but you need to keep an eye on all three of them so you don't get attacked from behind. After defeating them, you'll obtain the Fey Protector Signet, which increases max health and stamina by 10 and reduces encumberment by 5. The Red Prince, he resides in his throne room in the Gilded Chambers and there are three ways to confront him. You can either give him free Crimson King coins as tribute leading to your execution and the reward of the bloody steel splinter. Do not do this on hardcore mode. This can be crafted into the mod Blood Draw which shoots razor sharp chain shards impaling up to 5 targets within 15 meters and dealing 10 damage. On hit 
chains are pulled towards the caster dealing 250 damage split equally among enemies and applying 275 bleeding damage over 15 seconds the second way to confront him is to refuse to pay the tribute or insult him by offering fewer than three coins this initiates the boss battle aim for his head his weak spot and avoid his lunge and arrow attacks which he can summon back he'll also summon two fire servants who will launch flames across the arena also when the flames start coming down head for the center so you don't automatically die once defeated you'll be rewarded with the forlorn fragment which can be crafted into the firestorm mod this mod creates a whirling cyclone that sucks in nearby targets applies burning for 10 seconds and deals 75 fire damage per second at its center lasting 15 seconds there's also a third option of killing the red prince for his crown with the assassin's dagger which is explained in how to find every amulet relics and armor in Losman video that we did before first the oath keeper is a boss that is only on the one true king quest line when you get to the card gesture you need to follow the card with the devil horns when the card turns to a door go through this one Firth is a ranged fae who will shoot arrows at you while minions spawn and attack you. Taking her out is not too hard, it is making sure not to get swarmed by her minions. Once defeated she will drop the misfortune mutator which when equipped to a melee weapon will grant 5% extra damage for every negative status effect. At level 10 melee attacks will apply slow. The Huntress is the final optional boss in Losman. Located in Brock Weather Quarter, Forsaken Quarter or Ironborough, she can appear at any of these locations. She will attack you first while you're walking around, but go away later. She can be found again around a graveyard, sleeping. Attack her while she's sleeping to get a head start in this boss battle. Watch out for her long reaching and magical strikes and be sure to eliminate the crows she summons. Her weak spots are her steed's head and her head. Defeating her earns you the venerated spearhead which when given to McCabe can be crafted into the Huntress Spear, a powerful melee weapon that can be thrown at enemies for long distance damage. The alternative way to kill the Huntress is to approach her while she is sleeping and use the Dreamcatcher staff to receive the Huntress Dream. Kill her here and you will receive the sacred hunt feather. This item can be crafted into the familiar weapon mod. This mod summons a fairy familiar to aid in combat. The fairy selects a random enemy within 10 meters and slashes through them for 25 damage each attack. Familiar will select a new target when the previous one dies. This lasts for 15 seconds. I hope you found this video both helpful and enjoyable. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. The bigger the channel gets, the bigger the videos will get and the more content we can provide for you wonderful people. Don't forget to check out the community page. As always, we allow you to vote on the next video as your input is a significant part of this channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Only Boss Fights. Have an amazing day, you wonderful people.